We are going to be taking a look today at one of the most exciting new cryptocurrencies on the market. We've looked into this project a couple of times on the channel already. People have liked what they saw. And face it, altcoin season is here. We saw a project 10x last week. Not a micro cap, a top 100 coin. Could this be the next project to propel itself into the top 20? Find out today. Let's get it. Welcome to BitBoy Crypto. If you would like daily crypto videos, make sure to hit that subscribe button. If you want to learn more about crypto or trading, then please make sure to join one or both of my Telegram chats, the BitSquad or BitSquad Traders. All right, guys, today we're going to be discussing a hot new project in crypto, Velus. We're going to be discovering why this project has so many people listing it as a project with huge potential. And there is good reason why people are so bullish on this project. In this video, we're going to look at the founder of Velus Token and why he is very important to this project. We will be discussing the link between Velus and a huge company in crypto. We'll be going over the numbers and where to buy VLX. And of course, for you nerds, we will be checking out the tech to go along with VLX, but we won't be getting that deep into that side of things. And lastly, I'm going to be making some bold predictions about this coin. Velus was awesome enough to partner with me by sponsoring this video, so shout out to them. But not sure if you guys can tell, this is a project I'm actually bullish on. Most of the projects I work with, I deeply believe in. And Velus is going to be successful whether you hold a bag or not, so do your own research and choose wisely. So first and foremost, we have to start out with the founder of this project, Alex Alexandrov. You can check him out on my podcast, Beards and Bitcoins, later this week. The episode will be out on Thursday. Now, we didn't have a video episode last week as I was in Vegas, but you are definitely going to want to check out this interview. And I mean, you got to respect someone with part of their last name as their first name. You may not know this, but my full name is Bitboy Bitboykin. But seriously, though, Alex is a mover and a shaker. This is someone you want behind your project, no doubt about it. People talk all the time about how important it is to have a good team in crypto. That's one of those buzz phrases people like to throw out. This basically became a meme when Ryan Gosling's photo was used on the website of failed ICO Morosky. Yeah, that project went down faster than Rachel McAdams in The Notebook. Actually, I've never seen it, but I assume that happens. The point is, oftentimes the quality of a crypto team is puffed up. Yeah. Maybe they aren't using fake images as team members, but most of these young, flashy CEOs in crypto really didn't build anything of note before crypto. Check out their LinkedIn pages. You'll find a ton of software and tech companies that you've never heard of. But the founder of Velus, Alex Alexandrov, created one of the largest companies in our entire crypto space. We are talking about coin payments. So here is what is great about coin payments. It's not just a crypto company. It's really an adoption company. It allows merchants to accept over 1,900 different altcoins, along with Bitcoin, of course, for only half a percent fee. It plugs into several different online shopping cart websites like WooCommerce, Shopify, and others. This is retail adoption, and when it comes to enabling companies to accept crypto, there's no company larger. And isn't that kind of what crypto is supposed to be about? electronic digital currency to use on these here interwebs and if you want to spend crypto but the retailer you're wanting to purchase from doesn't accept it coin payments enables you to buy gift cards for cryptocurrency as well for stores like best buy and nike and they have a ton of other great features but this is not a coin payments review it's a velish review but listen you have to understand where my confidence in this project comes from it comes from a founder who built one of the largest companies in crypto focusing on adoption from the ground up. Now he's taking what he learned as the CEO of coin payments and applying it to a crypto project. People don't find that kind of success by accident. It doesn't just happen. Alex has a blueprint for success, and while he's still a board member of coin payments, he stepped out of his official role as CEO and is now focusing all of his attention on Velus. So let's check out the numbers according to CoinMarketCap for VLX. It's coming in at number 218 on CoinMarketCap. Now, this is a very important number. If you're unaware, CoinMarketCap recently created new criteria for being in the top 200. And when I first spoke with Velus, this was the number one question I asked them because I was concerned at first. Usually, a ranking outside of the top 200 is a little sketch because this means you didn't meet CoinMarketCap's criteria for being a top 200 project. Sometimes this means the numbers are funny and CoinMarketCap can't really confirm them. This is why you find projects with such big market caps in the upper part of the 200s. If you were to take the current VLX market cap of $113 million, 
that would actually be ranked number 67 at the time of this recording. Now, a few weeks ago, when I first talked about VLX, it would have been ranked at almost number 80. So that shows you how much it has moved up, almost 15 spots in just a few weeks. So why is VLX sitting outside the top 200 and didn't meet the CMC criteria? It's a problem a lot of new projects have. It just boils down to a lack of major exchange listings. Right now, you can buy VLX on BW.com, ProBit, ZBG, and Exmo. And I'll be honest with you, I've never used one of them. I like to stick to exchanges I've heard of. While the volume is not actually showing up here though, Velas did recently get a huge listing on Bittrex Global, so it's one step closer to cracking that top 200 in the rankings. But I happen to have heard through the grapevine from a little birdie that some major exchange listings are in the near future, more than just Bittrex. I don't even know if I can say which ones, but they are legit. And this will not only propel the price of VLX further, but will solve the coin market cap problem, and then it will shoot up maybe even to the top 50 overnight. When that happens, chances are the project will spike even harder as all of a sudden it will be on people's radars for the first time. But you smart people will say, hey, BitBoy told me this was gonna happen, basically giving out free palm readings over here. So let's jump back to CMC to analyze the rest of the VLX numbers before jumping into the tech side. This project is a coin, meaning it's on its own chain, so there's no transition coming or token exchange in the future. Right now, the price is coming in at about eight and a half cents. The market cap, as mentioned, is $113 million. The 24-hour volume is $1.5 million. The lack of volume would obviously be due to the lack of major exchange listings to this point. The total supply of VLX is almost $2.1 billion. I like it when my coins have under $10 billion in supply for sure. About 60% or so of that number is in the circulating supply, as it is about $1.35 billion VLX. As you can see on the chart here, the project launched just in October of last year, so about nine months ago. Now, something interesting and very encouraging is that the project has never really fallen off a cliff like many projects do when they launch. There was a small initial drop, but it only lasted a few days and it held well through the crash even in March. It's had a few ups and downs, but the last two months have pretty much been a straight curve upwards. Since it launched, VLX has given almost a 350% ROI to investors. How many projects launched over the last few years can say that? Now that's not a 350% ROI from its low point. It's a 350% ROI since its launch. Quite different. All right, so let's check out the tech for Velus and the goals of it. Velus is basically a decentralized ecosystem. The four major aspects of this ecosystem are the node slash stakers, the desktop wallet, the web wallet, and the block explorer. The node stakers are a huge part of this ecosystem, and you would imagine so, since staking coins are so hot right now. And I mean, who doesn't like a little passive income? especially with the explosive potential of crypto. You may be earning a couple bucks a day by staking, but if a project 100Xs, suddenly that turns into a couple hundred bucks per day, and I know a lot of you guys could use that. You can stake your VLX with any node to assist in the creation of blocks on the Vels chain. The two native wallets for this project really stand out though. First, the desktop wallet. It runs on Windows, Mac, or Linux. So you manually download it onto your computer and the web wallet features the ability for users to transfer in any crypto they choose. I mean, Coin Payments was founded on using different altcoins, so Velos is no different. The web wallet contains internal conversion and exchange rates for VLX against all fiat currencies. Both the desktop and web wallet can be accessed with mnemonic seed phrases and they both have the RSA256 CBC encryption algorithm. The long and short of it is, these wallets are secure. And I'll tell you one thing, Nothing hinders the adoption of a cryptocurrency project like not having a native wallet. It just complicates things immensely. So having not just one, but two native wallets is a huge boost to this ecosystem. And they also have a hardware wallet coming out later this year, so make sure to watch for that. The last part of the ecosystem is their web-based block explorer. If you're unaware what a block explorer does, it basically allows all the transactions on the network to be transparent and searchable. Pretty self-explanatory if you've been in crypto for any amount of time. Along with the internal ecosystem of Velus, they also have a robust and growing community. If you want to join one of their Telegram groups, I'll put some Velus social media links down below. So what is the future of this project? In my opinion, it has top 20 written all over it. Strong leadership with solid connections all over crypto, a robust decentralized ecosystem, secure native wallets, and much more. In my opinion, this is a project you want to jump on as soon as you can, because when it pops, it's going to pop off hard. But now it's your turn. What do you think about Velus? Are you sold or no? Let me know by dropping a comment down below. 
I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to smash the like button and hit subscribe to become a member of the Bit Squad. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Good boy out.